Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Anglerfish, which is an upcoming horror game from the creators of Project Typhon, where you go to a bachelor party and things get quickly out of hand. Based on a true story. Oh, Apparently this is a true story of an anime con, if anything. Okay, ladies, we're here. Are you, um, okay, so the first character... I'm trying to determine, are, is that, that the mask, like, uh... I'm not sure it's like Chaos or Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy? Something like that. It looks like a Final Fantasy character. Do you really need to call us ladies? Now who is going to be my best man? You know the rules. The lady who gets the most numbers wins a spot. Oh, dog. Hi. I am definitely getting her number. <laughs> you gotta tell men to collect those numbers. Let the best schoolgirl win. Guys, before we go in, who's going to be the designated driver? Not me. I think it's going to be you. That's good Sunni aesthetic, like your mask. Great, it's a smoking bar. Now we're all getting cancer. Leaving. Ow! Oh. Dog? You can't escape anglerfish if you're not in it. We'll see about that. Ow. We'll see about that. Ow. Hey, come down. Repley? Yeah, let's go a little, going a little hard. I, I'm 100% sure your mask is a Final Fantasy character, and it's bothering me. I can't remember which one. <laughs> you don't say much, huh? Don't top off your drink. Need a drink. Thank you. I'm away, buddy. What did we say? This place is getting a one-star review. No chocolate cake. What? So... Fifth element. Nice shot. We're a little slippery now we move. I believe I've murdered my friend, which is alright. One number. Two numbers. Okay, I see, because it distracts you, because Leia starts dancing. That is closed. Come on, buddy. As a number, number. Um, I have lipstick now. Ding dong. 
Oh yeah, it's 12. Oh! Oh god! You must escape anglerfish to get home! Where are... Where'd that guy go? I'm leaving. Ow. Is it a different dog this time? Sure. Well, they're not transformed. So this is just an elaborate Dusk Till Dawn reference. So a big part of the game that they mention is dying is not the end. Dying will actually change the game. I'm not sure if we'll see that in this demo or not. Um, at least much anyway. Shotgun. It's for space to end someone's life. Mending that wall's life. Boom, baby. Well, our friend in here died. You're gonna drop down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Burn. See, I was afraid of going up because there's a lot of butterflies. Um, I was afraid that it would like kind of camp me. Let's go down here. Thank you. Now, I think, let's see. Typhon had some secrets. We'll see if we find any around in this demo. There's Kurt Russell, which is not much of a secret, I think you can kind of tell. Oh! Oh, whoops. I was too busy shooting up. Anyway, dog's back to normal. What the? a series of movie references. Lots of them. Makes a noise. Yeah, that's worth anything. You're gonna murder me as soon as I climb out. Yeah, yeah I wasn't letting you do that. Avoid the bones. I clearly hear the sound. Hey, skeleton. And EDM. Oh god. There's roots. Okay. Can I go back? No. Okay. So no matter what, I had to step on those bones. No.
Interesting how we react to the actual body. Like our actual facial expression changed. Kind of interesting. Kind of slightly, uh, painful in the eyes, too. Okay, so we have some light. They're, um, light butterflies. Which makes... sense. Come here. Just kiss the skeleton. This makes sense. And it's alright. Skeletons need love too, apparently. Try to see if the ears perk up. If your ears perk up, then you know you need something interactable. Usually Mickey Mouse? No, it's us. We're Mickey Mouse. From another timeline. Because the whole, like, oh, you die, you uh, loop thing. Okay. We kissed our own skeleton. So let's go south. What's this room for? This is where those plants were like deadly and I just stepped in a trap, but... Apparently not? Better check the walls. Might be secrets. Wait. No. Okay. Well, it took us back. Oh, I can kiss the other skeleton. Okay, we've, uh, kissed the skeletons. That, uh, vampire statue has very nice hair. And I saw the, um... Oh, it's the woman. Because we saw her image, and that's what the statue's supposed to be. I'm gonna have to switch over here. Whatever that does. For all these jars for hell of it. Could be a secret tied to them. There's one over there. Can't interact with that. Well, I need to destroy these jars. I will help you in a second. So they're not... I mean, they're vampires. Are they root vampires? Well, Project Typhon... There was like a plant element too. I'm wondering if this is like a secret sequel. Hmm. I can help you with this... Shotgun. 
Deja vu, I know I've been here before. Will you wishlist the game on Steam? Sure. You can now pet the dog. Good boy. I feel like that's a form of bribery. Oh! Thank you for dying with us. I'm gonna go back and um, tell I'm not gonna wishlist the game now. So let's get a better view of what actually goes down when it goes dust. To yeah, that's about what I expected. Don't eat me. Eat up. So we shot you before. Let's just try leave. Yeah, that's about to be expected. No. Yeah, what you gonna do? Was I ever died of that or died to the vampire? <laughs> oh, the duck's eyes. Um, why is there a magical thing on me? Is the dog change? Is the dog's eyes falling out? To try walking, leaning, and walking back. Yeah, that's the same. I, I still don't understand what I've done. Everything just dies when I walk near it. It's like, oh, we don't want you to die anymore. Oh my god. What about to the vines? Okay, the, the thing's gone. Ow. What? They're a super fast one. No, still killed me. You can't get me. I have a shield on. And I still can pet the dog, despite saying no. Exploit. What the? Ow. I'm flat. Oh. Okay, a secret. So, that's it for the anglerfish demo. So I did like Project Typhon, going by their previous work, and I like the DLC that came with it. There's actually a newer one, I haven't played it yet, probably well pretty soon. I just get reminded of it because of playing this. And that was a horror game where you had no arms, you lost them, and you were in a survival horror situation. 
this one is going for much more of a surreal edge. Maybe it is going to be a secret sequel to Project Typhon. Who knows? Because there is, like I said, some plant themes, which is something we saw in Typhon. Now, they advertise mechanics about, like, dying to change the level. So you saw, like, a very minor taste of it here. There's some secrets can activate if you die enough here and there. But aside from that, you know, the demo is trimmed down, right? But they do mention that gimmick where dying is not the end. It's, it actually can help you solve puzzles or activate things or so on and so on. Change the level up. And it looks like it's going to be a kind of a weird game. The screenshots of the, the game page show some, like, weird, more horror -y kind of parts and some other things. And right now what we have is From Dust Till Dawn, and then we had Jurassic Park in there? Because, you know, the, the T-Rex eating someone in the, the toilet. And then we had Kurt Russell's um, skeleton down there, you know, Big Trouble in Little China. So there's a ton of uh, movie references being mishmashed here. And I, I guess that's the point, that this game is going to be all over the place. I'm also vaguely reminded of Lisa, somewhat in aesthetic. I don't think it's intentional, that's just more my personal thing. But um, more in the sense of, like, the way the humor is being kind of delivered. Aside from that, I am not sure where this game is going to go. I think that's the intention. It's a curious and interesting game, though. Like, we got a little small slice of it. We can't say if it's good or bad yet, because it's, you know, it's a small section. But if we go on Project Typhon, which I think I did like, then I would trust them on Anglerfish and its final product. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play the Anglerfish demo. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.